Right now we're going to pick up a snowmobile. You guys know I've been searching for one forever. It's Monday, I went to one of my class, skipped the other two classes because it'll probably be sold by tonight. But it's a 2012 Articat 800 Crossfire Snow Pro, 141 inch track, so I'm always looking for a low mile sled. We got back, we bought the Articat. The Articat is bought, we picked it up. I'll describe it later, but right now it's, it's uh... Thanksgiving break, baby! It's like a week later. It's like a week later and it's the weekend. And I got, we got, parts are in. We're gonna rip off all this and make this thing like blacked out pretty much. Okay. There's a lot of clean that needs to be done. You guys can't tell, but she's crazy dusty. We don't have water here, so we gotta figure that out. We haven't really dug into her so far. It seems like a good sled with 1,300 miles. We were talking to the guy. We got, we didn't end up buying the trailer, so I still don't have a snowmobile trailer. I wanna get a snowmobile trailer soon. But first, as you can see, this is all a mess in here. It's part my fault, part his fault, part my dad's fault. No, we're just rushing, we just toss crap in here. So, we're gonna clean it all out, we're gonna clear it all out, sweep it all out, and then go from there. But I gotta say, if we get a ton of snow this year, we're probably gonna be doing a ton of snowmobiling. So, if you guys like snowmobiling, subscribe, follow along. You guys see this? So, skis are, this ski's fairly straight, and it's even, right? And this happened to me last year, and I don't know what caused it or what's wrong. I haven't taken the ski apart. This ski is straight. This ski is at a slant. See how the ski's not fully on the ground, and it's it's the ski slanted a little outwards? But if you guys are experts, please tell me your criteria on how you're an expert. But let me know what's wrong with it. Warm up just because it hasn't been started in probably two months or so. for snow there may be a million things wrong with the Honda but she always starts up So this is what we're making. We are <laughs> redneck shell, baby. All we did is take these. If you guys remember, I don't know if you guys remember the RC, uh, the RC car video we did a while ago, but we used these to ramp an RC car off the hill and it was like a big fail. It was fun still, but now all we're doing is just shoving two by fours underneath there and then just screwing it in <laughs> to make some type of platform. We got her clean. She's all clean through there, besides some organization over there. Floors are all clean. And then we stacked everything over here. Got everything on pallets. Now we are trying to get this up there. And while I was lifting, and I went and hit this, this corner post, it lifted the whole frame, or the whole truss, I guess. And then it came down. So then of course after that we're like, okay, we're done. This is the stupidest idea ever. And now we're going to look at a snowmobile trailer. I got it the past six months. I've been working on finding a snowmobile trailer just like I've been working on finding a snowmobile for like the perfect price, uh, perfect trailer. And I, I literally check for Facebook Marketplace like every day and I haven't found it. So we're going snowmobiling this weekend up in Wisconsin. 
So I was like, ah, we need to get one, and there's a fairly good used one for sale. I hate buying new stuff, and this is this is used, so. There's TV behind the wheel. Rocking the shades, baby. It didn't go as planned. Things did not go as planned. We ended up buying a bigger trailer, and it's brand new. And you Let me come on inside. Turn the light on. But anyways, we ended up buying an 18 foot with a five foot V. It's really like so. Here's right here is 18 foot back, and then I think here is the five foot V. That just dude, this there's there's no way this is five foot. No, uh, I'm yeah. five eight. You're five eight. Honestly, like the five foot V does not add anything to it when you think about it. Now the thing I was really worried about it was how the heck am I gonna walk in here? But as you guys can see, I know my hair is like three inches long, I need to get a haircut. But as you guys can see, you can walk, oh shoot, you can walk without it hitting. I got about an inch or two. So that's what I was wanting. We were gonna go like with a bigger it, trailer. Look at that. So I think this will work out good. We can use it for a lot of other stuff. It'll be fun. It should be fun at least. Spence, you know what we need? What? Just a giant squad logo <laughs> right in the back, dude. We should get the whole thing wrapped. Yep, a bit more of this one. Yep, for sure. So I never really gave a clear view of the actual trailer, which is just, it is huge, especially once you put it indoors. It is, this thing yeah. is humongous. So, we put it indoors because I'm gonna get a special lock. The lock I had on it now could just be broken off at the sledgehammer in like two seconds. Um, so I'm buying a special lock and I'm buying a GPS tracking device. So if one of you truckers steal this, I'll find you. And then to finish off the video, we have the Articat, which I never officially showed you guys. It had stickers all over it. It was the 50th anniversary edition and it didn't look that good. It was, it was weird in a way. Pulled off all the stickers and blacked this thing out. Besides that, other than that green stripe, which is part of the seat, and I don't want to split in the money to buy a new seat, it's all blacked out. Put hand guards, and then took that old man windshield off, the crazy big one, which we still have, just in case I freeze my face off, and just put a smaller one on. It's got Fox Float, it's got the 1.6 inch Cobra, which kind of perfect for around here, if we get into some powder powder in the uh, in the ditches. And then there's the other Articat. So, so these sleds are literally like the exact same sleds in a way besides, I guess they're only two years difference, but besides they're a different model. They're a different year model. So every five years or whatever, Articat changes their model. They're a different model. Other than that, they're the same sleds. They're ready to go. Now one thing that I always want to talk about is it's super important when you're when you're buying these, you guys might, may think, oh, he just went out and bought a brand new snowmobile, $12,000 brand new snowmobile. It's super important, at least for my whole strategy when buying stuff I really don't need, is to buy it at a price where in three years from now, I can go and sell it for that exact same price or a little more. Now the snowmobiles, both of them I brought, I'll, I'll tell you exactly how much. Uh, the 2010 Articat, the orange and yellow one, paid 3,500. It, it had 800 miles at the time. I thought it was a good deal. I think in two or three years, I can sell it for the same price. On the 2020, 12, it had 1,100 miles and I paid 4,300 for that. And then again, when I go to sell it two, three years, I think I can sell it for the same price or, okay. may, or maybe even a little more. So right now with the market conditions in the world, the way they are, there's not a crazy good returning asset class in a way. And if there is, I'm prepared for that asset class. So in a way I strategize to have a little fun with it, but at the same time, really focusing on not losing money. I spend way too much time on Facebook marketplace probably. It's a hobby of mine to like try to find really cheap crap that would be kind of fun and maybe won't depreciate it at all in two or three years or maybe even make a little money on it. Now with that being said, this trailer, it killed me buying this trailer in a way because I know if I go to sell it in five, six years, I paid it 7,700 for it, I may lose a thousand dollars. And it, it really sucks to see that, but hopefully you get some really good use out of it. But anyways guys, hopefully you enjoyed the Sunday Funday. If you did, smash that like button. Hey, I'll see you later.